Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Pidgey Pause. My name is Tony and I hope you're having a great day so far. You may or may not have guessed it from the title, but today we're doing something a little bit different. So recently guys, I managed to get a Kanto Power Collection box from eBay for $220. I know I did pay a premium, but they're sold out anywhere. Find me one for cheaper. The evolutions, like the series just freaking blew up. I've seen blisters itself sell for up to 40 Australian, which is a very hefty price to pay for, you know? And why do we do that? Cause we want to have a chance of getting this, you know, hollow Charizard, the poster boy, since the beginning of Pokemon. And this poster boy, this Charizard, I managed to snag him off eBay for $190. So instead of just straight up unboxing the evolution box, today and opening up the blisters, I want to make a little comparison, a little experiment for myself and a comparison for you guys that just want to own one of the XY Evolutions Charizards. Is it more cost effective and safe to just buy the Zard off eBay or should you go out and buy, pay a premium for the Counter Power Collections or you know some of the Evolution Packs? Disclaimer guys, this experiment of mine probably will not apply to you if you are opening the evolution packets, boxes, whatever for nostalgic reasons or if you're opening the evolution packs for the other Pokemon in them. Let's get started. All right, have a look at the promo cards, boys and girls, that we get from the Kanto box. We've got the Slowbro EX and we've got the Mewtwo EX. Let me sleep them first. Sleeved and ready to go, and we also got the Mewtwo EX Jumbo card. Gonna leave that somewhere with all my other jumbos. I once purchased 15 packs of the Alexam boxes just to get nothing. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's start with our first evolution pack for today. Yeah, technically I did get a steal. I mean, if you divide that 220 by 10 packs, that's $22 per pack. In, in Australia, I'm seeing these packs go for at maximum 45 bucks, but at the minimum, at least at the mid 20s range. So 25, 26 minimum. Let's get started without further ado. Let me fix my camera a little bit, sorry. There we go, should be all good. So first and foremost, we've got a Starmie. We've got Brock, our first gym trainer. Magma, Ponyta, Magnemite, Pikachu, very cool. I'll keep it over here because Pikachu, you know. Potent, first poster boy. We've got a Marchomp, Weedle. Ooh, oofed. Remember last time, I'm not sure if you guys remember we pulled a March out. Now we've got a March Oak. Not too bad. Put him here. Just leave him as well. It's the pre-roided stage, Machoke. He's still got two arms. When he turns into Machamp, <laughs> freaking four arms. The beast. All right, let's pull a Charizard pack. See if we can get him. Then again, if I get any of the other versions of the Charizard in this in this pen, it'll be pretty good as well. Won't be complaining. Do I feel something? What the hell, this feels rigid. Oh, I think I pulled it wrong. I do feel like it's a different sensation than, you know, a normal card, so let's have a look. Ooh, the Blastoise EX! God damn it! What a great freaking pull from the second go. I freaking pulled it wrong. Whoopsies. Okay, we've got a reverse. We've got a hollow reverse rare trainer. And these are the rest. But freaking hell, guys, we've got a Blastoise EX on the second go. Fah! Freaking love the Japanese writing on here. Looks so damn sleek and cool, man. That's freaking nice. Why couldn't I have this luck pulling the Evolutions packs before? Freaking hell, second go. 
Good job. Let's keep on going. Yeah, recently my mates that are in their 30s, late 20s, like that they grew up watching Pokemon as well. They're back into collecting cards again, you know? And for them it's just a refreshing experience. Let's go. We've got Arcanine, Trainer, Trainer, Charmeleon, Energy, Growlithe, Ghastly, Charmander. We've got let's put the let's put the set here. See if we can get oh 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 what's up the back? A magma. Okay. Let's put it here. So I've got Charmander, Charmeleon over here. Let's see if we can pick up a Charizard within eight goes. Ah, oh, seven goes. Oh, I've got my hopes up now. Blastoise EX was definitely a good hit. I did not expect myself to get that. Fix that camera again. Apologies. Got a Pearly Whirl, Trainer, Trainer, Vulpix, Electrobuzz, a Magikarp, Ghastly. I want to pull a Golden Magikarp card. Uh, hopefully they print it again because I'm definitely not going to pay a premium for it. Reverse for Magma again. And a <laughs> Mega Venusaur EX. Are you freaking kidding me? What are these rates? Not too freaking bad. Last Blastoise, Venusaur, we got both Charmander and Charmeleon. What's missing? Just the freaking Charizard. I think it's three cards. And then I'll, then I'll turn. Cool. Trainer, 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 back in my energy. Growlithe, Machamp holding the world, Voltorb, ooh, a hollow Mew, very cool, and a Dugong, very nice that Mew, I'm going to sleep him for sure. I always welcome these Mew cards, because I never really got to catch one. I believe during that event in Pokemon Emerald, it was only open to um, Japan and Taiwan, so, you know, I had to actually em get that event during the emulation that I played on computer. Yeah, I, em I emulated GBA. Or else, you know, you could never experience it. Same as a kid when there was like Game Boy Advance events in, um, I think Kmart or whatever, I always missed it. So I feel left out sometimes. Well, my mate's got, um, you know, the rare Pokemons and stuff. Let's go. Trainer, Haunter, oh, a flying Pikachu. That is freaking cute. Have a look, please. He's on the freaking balloon. That's so cool. Damn. My mate wanted one as well. Haha. Uh -huh. I have a Chris. Have a look. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Have a good look. I got the flying Pikachu. I'm not sure if you wanted the surfing Pikachu or the flying Pikachu. Weedle, Tangela, Ponyta, Duo Duo, Staryu, Dug Trio, and Radicate. How many more packs? Four more packs. Come on boys, we got the Charmander, the Charmeleon, Blastoise and the Venusaur. Don't dog me man, let's get it. Let's get the freaking Charizard. Yo, I was watching some YouTube videos of people pulling evolution packs. And some guy got um, the Charizard on the second go I believe. Freaking amazing. He was in, he was in shock. He just, he, he was just like, for like five seconds. He was just still for five seconds. Another Charmeleon. Are you trying to say some, something to me, Pax? Let's go. Give me that Charizard. You wouldn't do it. Pikachu, Ponyta, a freaking Nido King. Damn, man. That's freaking amazing. Like, I totally understand people that buy these evolution, um, booster boxes, packs for a premium, because like, these 150 Pokemon creates so much nostalgia for them for when they just started playing Pokemon. And, you know, some people, including me, would not justify paying 
you know, hundreds and thousands for one single booster pack for, you know, the original Pokemon. So, you know, this is actually a steal. Let's go. Got Oat, Coughing, Trainer, Vulpix, and Shrew Onyx, Magikarp, Energy, Drowsy, and another Dugong. I think I've been getting a lot of Dugongs as well. Two more packs, ladies and gentlemen. We've got plenty of good hits. Let's see if we can finish it up strong. Got Misty, Poliwhirl, Trainer, Voltorb, Sandshrew, Poliwag, Diglett, Seal, Trainer, and Beedrill. Lucky last. One second. Keep Pikachu lit. For you guys that don't know that I knew, when I, whenever I lit Pikachu, my luck somehow increases by a little bit. And if you guys have watched this far, please give me a like and a subscribe. It will really help me as a startup YouTuber and any kind of help is much appreciated. Let's go guys, let's see. If we, can, if we can finish it up strong. Metapod, Trainer, Energy, Diglett, Caterpie, let's slow it down, Poliwag, another Pikachu, Ponyta, Reverse, Rare Volto, Destiny, oh, what is this? What is this? A Charizard EX card has been pulled. Freaking amazing. It's not the Charizard that we intended, that we wanted, but a freaking Charizard is a Charizard. Let's have a look. Guys, over here we pulled a freaking Mega Venusaur EX, a freaking Mega Blastoise EX, and now to top it off, we also got a Charizard EX. Just leave that too. Oh, these are absolutely amazing pulls. I am very impressed with the luck today. And this totally goes against my theory. So guys, before you go, let's have a look at the awesome cards that we got today. Definitely amazing pulls. I did not expect this at all because the previous evolution packs I pulled on this channel did not treat me well at all, except for the Dragonite EX in the Marchamp. Anyways, we've got a bunch of these amazing hollows over here. Uh, two Magmas, and we've got the Promo Mewtwo EX, the Pikachu, I believe we've got quite, yeah, we've got three Pikachus, and we also got the Slowbro pr Promo um, Pokemon. We've got Flying Pikachu, Nido King, we got the rare Mew, and on top of that, we also got the three starters. The Charizard EX, Mega Venusaur EX, and also the freaking Mega Blastoise EX. So guys, in the end, we did not manage to pull our Poster Boy Charizard from the 10 booster packs of the evolutions. So in my, in my opinion, if you just want to straight up own a copy of this Charizard, it's better off to buy it from a reputable seller and take your time, find a good deal and just buy it. Around, you know, 190 to 250 Australian converted to your own currency. It should be at that price range. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for tuning in and stay tuned for more unboxing videos. I've got plenty of content to share with you guys. Until then, peace.